All right, back again. Um, about 28 hours ago, I started my coverage of this impending nor'easter uh, when all this moisture was somewhere in the low central part of the U.S. by Illinois, Nashville. And although there are no harp images in this screen at this point, uh, about four hours ago, there was one right in this vicinity. And... I made a video about it. So even though it's not here now visible, that's where it was. And so we're going to continue this loop starting at 2.30 a.m. And if you've noticed from my previous video, as the moisture was approaching this area where the harp circle was, it seemed that the moisture stopped advancing once it reached this point. Now this is what I want to get into for a moment. That all oh, this moisture just seems to magically pop out of nowhere. So let's fast forward. There's 330, 335, 340, 345, 350, and there 355 you get all these bands. Now between the hours of uh, probably 2 and 3 o'clock in the morning, I was doing some research as to what could possibly be causing these harp circles. So it dawned upon me to Google search the locations for the U.S. Doppler radar locations. So I found the image, and here's the image. And all these dots and circles represent the locations and ranges of all the Doppler radars across the country. Now, after a good 45 minutes of research, it dawned upon me that every single harp video on YouTube, including my own, every harp ring is centered on one of these dots. Okay, so it's quite apparent to me that all of these so-called harp rings originate around the U.S. Uh, uh, radar installation areas. So that brings us to one of two conclusions that either A, the government is using our own Doppler radar stations to control and move the weather, or B, these installations uh, apparently go through certain checks and there could be errors that s happen to spit out what we see as harp rings on the radar. Um, to further verify this find, we're going to go back to one of the videos I made yesterday. Let me pull that up. So this is the video I made last night. And let's bring it to the first set of images. There we go. Here's the Nashville ring. And here's the ring over Lower Illinois. And let's bring up this chart. You can see that there is a radar installation there, and there is another radar installation there. So let's go back to the video. Fast forward to the Washington ring. There's the Washington ring. Okay. Right before it vanishes. So it's centered about right here, and we're going to go back to the map. I'm going to scroll over, and look, there it is. There is a radar installation right there. Okay, now we're going to go back to the video that I made earlier tonight. Actually, let's go back to the video that I made later on yesterday with a more defined blip. So I'm going to go, I'm going to fast forward. 
All right, hold on. There's the blip. Okay. There's the blip in eastern Kentucky. We're going to pull up our map. And there's the installation right there. Now, I can go through every single YouTube video that has one of these harp rings. And I can assign that harp ring to any one of these locations. I'm not going to do that. I'll leave you guys to do that. I already went through a few just to prove my point. But all this did to me was raise more questions because f from the images that I've been seeing from other, from other videos and from the videos that I've made, it would almost seem that these harp rings seem to be some kind of harbinger of bad weather. Now, these installations are supposed to be passive, meaning that they use high-frequency uh, microwaves to map the moisture in the air. But who's to say that, you know, they're not throwing in other frequencies uh, from these towers, or I should say radar, they're not really towers, they're, they're domes, they're sweeping domes. But um, who's to say they're not putting other higher or lower frequencies of RF that might actually manipulate the weather? Uh, we calculated yesterday in another one of our videos that these rings have a frequency of 9,000 hertz or approximately thereof. And I can guarantee you that these installations, when used for the purpose of viewing the, ra the, the, the weather, what they're supposed to be used for, th it's not a 9,000 hertz frequency. It's actually much higher than that. I believe it's somewhere in the megahertz range. Um, but if I'm wrong, I'll go in and I'll write an annotation in the screen to correct it. But I can guarantee you it's not in the 9,000 hertz range. So. I believe I found the source for these harp rings. However, that just raises more questions than it answers. So I'll leave you guys with that. And hit subscribe and like. And as I come across more findings, I will be sure to publish them. Thanks. Have a great evening.